Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, Henry Michael Brown, uh, author of The Impossible Man, Kana Magi Universe, uh, creator of Splatterbomb, game designer of Savage Strikers and Splatterbomb, uh, lyricist of uh, <laughs> lyricist uh, of uh, a peanut butter jelly Splatterbomb theme, uh, king of the Andals, first of his name. <laughs> uh, how did it go? How did it go in, the, in Game of Thrones? Uh, anyway, anyway, I'm just being Game of Thrones silly here, you know. <laughs> the Breaker of Chains. <laughs> He's King of the North. <laughs> um, okay, so welcome to News and Notes for um, April and May. Um, I decided to put them both together. Uh, because I have uh, a lot of big, uh, I got a big announcement uh, to make, uh, and also uh, got a um, little thing. So, so let me just, uh, so let me just do the rundown. Um, I got a big announcement, very important, uh, that I'm going to um, uh, explain the scheduling that's uh, coming up for for the next couple of months, and then I'm going to do a little setup tour. Um, and uh, to show you a little setup, and you'll understand why in a second. <clears throat> uh, I can't remember if I had something else. I mean, I got my little, got my little notes here. <laughs> I got my little notes here, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, so let me first start with the with the um, uh, announcement, and I'm going to enlarge this a little bit more, uh, just for all of you. Okay. So as you probably, as you probably may notice, um, my background is a little unusual, um, and that's because uh, I will be relocating. Uh, there we go. <coughs> so uh, I'm relocating. So that's why um, a lot of the, my background behind me is uh, dwindling um, over time. And my new location won't happen till probably uh, until uh, around uh, June, sometime around June. So uh, basically, you're gonna see uh, uh, a lot of uh, unusual stuff in the background when uh, when, when it changes uh, um, as I start going through the interim uh, <coughs> uh, regarding that. So. Uh, what this means is that uh, the plans for the scheduling is gonna go through a lot of changes I should be able to pull it off um, uh, I might be able to pull it off uh, uh, some uh, do some live uh, do live streams uh, from temporary locations until I get to my permanent location uh, in June but uh, if you see anything unusual, um, that's why. But the thing is, is that I'm probably going to, I'm going to take a chance <clears throat> when I when I go to my stopgap location and live stream uh, and play through the OBS uh, through my OBS, and that's a big risk because of input lag. Now I'm going to be relying on the switch. <clears throat> I'm gonna be relying on the Switch. From this point forward, it's just gonna be um, all games on the Switch. So, uh, so that's what the um, all the shows are gonna be. Uh, what else? So I'm gonna do the best that I can and hope that the input lag uh, doesn't uh, doesn't hurt the my gameplay and the show by extension. Um, <clears throat> so. Right now, it's still a bit status quo. It's just gonna look a little weird, the back, uh, you know, behind me and everything, <clears throat> when it's all said and done. So you'll have to excuse me. I'm, uh, uh, I'm not sick or anything. It's just that um, my throat's been, uh, been a, um, uh, acting uh, crazy because I just finished uh, doing Splatter Bomb Lounge. Um, so you know, it started to start to burn out on me. Uh, uh, <clears throat> I didn't uh, get a chance to drink any water, so I apologize for the the 
the throat clearing. So, mm, Crystal, this is, um, I thought I could have gotten it done, but uh, hopefully, hopefully I'll get it done. Um, so, how this is gonna, uh, gonna work. April, I'm still gonna do uh, do as I uh, had said I planned in the previous news and notes. Uh, Koki-san Freelance Gamer is going to merge, which means that all Koki-san episodes are gonna be on Monday, and for the month of April, it's going to be um, back to Hyrule Warriors. Um, unfortunately, I won't be able to do Amiibo because that's uh, that's packed away, so um, that's packed away. So there's not gonna be any Amiibo fun. Sorry, uh, and I'm gonna do as much high rewards as I can. I'm hoping that I could, I could, uh, I hope I could hit the end uh, before the relocation begins. Mm, I don't know how far I am, but I'm gonna do as much as I can. And then in May, I'm just going to play arcade games. I'm not going to. I'm gonna bring my fight stick along, and I'm just gonna play arcade games. You know, do some fighting games, but play arcade games. I'm gonna try and keep. Um, my resources to a minimum with regards to uh, big games so that's what I'm hoping I could do I mean I could stall out Hyrule Warriors but um, I don't know I mean I said I was going to jump back into Hyrule Warriors in April and I'm going to stay committed to that so I'm going to do Hyrule Warriors as much as I can and then uh, and then I'm going to do um, the arcade games in May uh, Splatbomb Lounge Live will go on hiatus after Crystalis is done. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I could, but I'll probably have to pick. Well, the, the the reason why the reason why is because we're talking JRPGs here. I mean, my I mean my background is irrelevant because the whole lounge is the key factor. And same in freelance gamer, you know, the whole attic scene. Um, that's uh, that's really the, the the main factor in it. So there's really no reason for this. You know, you know, I'm just you know, this is just flavor text basically. You know, you, um, to put it succinctly. Um, but in terms of the the uh, Splatter Bomb Lounge, I think I could still do it. Uh, I think I could still do Splatter Bomb Lounge. Uh, just trying to figure out what game I want to play because I don't want to uh, once Crystalis is done I'm probably going to want to stick with another small game uh, I probably may have to stick with a small game um, on the switch to mitigate my stopgap location so that way I won't have so much interference uh, I'm not sure what's gonna. I'm not sure what's gonna happen, but we'll have to wait till May and see what happens. So, this means now that there's gonna be delays. Uh, sadly, uh, I couldn't do because of this uh, relocation. Um, I just couldn't squeeze in um, Splatbomb, uh, Sp uh, Sm uh, Smash Brothers, because Pira and Mithra are out, and I couldn't do. I couldn't do the show because I'm in the middle of this uh, life-changing event. Um, <clears throat> you have to excuse my arms here. <laughs> I gotta stop arming. Uh, <laughs> I armed again. So, so once I get into my new location, I'll be able to, uh, uh, um, which is sometime around June, Akana Magi um, Pure Volume 2 will begin. Uh, the update to Savage Strikers will also resume. And I will get to do uh, get to doing uh, the, the the Smash uh, Smash Brothers. So all of that um, all of that is delayed until until June when I get to my uh, new location. <clears throat> okay, scheduling. So what does the scheduling look like? So for April and May, I'm not gonna change anything. It's gonna uh, well I well I am changing as planned. You know Wednesdays is 100% free. I need my day off. I need that time off. Like I said, doing do, um, doing these seven days a week is not good. It's not very good, and I do need a day off. I need a night off. So, uh, so with that said, Mondays is Freelance Gamer. 
uh, Tuesdays um, over at my cookies on Japan channel will be I will still continue to uh, do um, my cookies on and hiragana um, uh, <coughs> shows Tuesdays and Thursdays uh, Wednesday is off Okay, Thursday is, uh, is Koki-san here. I got over at um, my Japan channel. Over on my Japanese channel. And Friday will be Splatter Bomb Lounge. Okay. So that's what April and May is going to look like. It's just going to stay just that. All the way through. Uh, all the way through. So. And I'm probably going to keep that scheduling um, uh, in for the foreseeable future it should be able to work um, with no problem I gotta stop umming <laughs> how do you guys not um, uh, avoid umming so so crazy so that's uh, so that's what's going so those are the three delays the Kana Magi um, uh, Smash Brothers and and the uh, Savage Strikers uh, uh, update are all delayed to June and the scheduling is Monday Tuesday Thursday Fridays Okay, and they're all gonna be at, uh, and they're gonna be at uh, 11, except for Splatter Bomb Lounge, which will be 11:30. Uh, it's just to try and keep the uh, the the the. <clears throat> well, it's because it's the weekend. I don't have to worry. I can be able to play the play these uh, games a little longer uh, if I need to. Go up to three hours. Hmm. Okay, so that's the new schedule uh, for uh, uh, for the for the time being. And let's see, um, merch still there. Spread shirt. I've been monitoring them. I um, uh, just uh, head on over to Spread Shirt. The links are all available throughout the channel and and in the descriptions, as it should be. Mm, okay, uh, Kana Magi, uh, The Impossible Man, and Splatter Bomb. Um, all uh, all up to uh, all nice and up to date. Nice and cleaned up. You know, got a nice little professional cleanup, little clarity, clearer, clearer colors. So, you know, they look a little bit more nicer now. Uh, save for the trademark. <laughs> but uh, they're the but they're still good to go over at Spreadshirt. Uh, now, I didn't put this in notes because I was trying to remember everything. Uh, you'll probably notice that two of my research videos are set to private. Uh, and what happened is that they got hit with a copyright claim for five seconds of music and I, and I did challenge it because there's no monetization it's research it's educational there's none of it you know none of it is supposed to be you know you know uh, for profits not for profits for you guys you know if you're interested in game design and learning game design but Aquapaza and and blaze blue uh, cross tag battle are set to private I am not going to edit it I'm not going to make any alterations I'm going to take them off because I'm not going to have these uh, two studios uh, make any financial gain on these two videos that have my copyrights my registered copyrights on it they refuse to acknowledge the fact that I have registered copyrights, even though it is in the Register of Copyrights in uh, in, uh, uh, in the U.S. Congress. So clearly, these two groups must be in a different country. Uh, these two studios must be in a different country with different copyright rules, uh, co different copyright rules uh, laws. So, uh, so that's what I'll have to uh, surmise and assume is why they rejected it. So, I'm going to remove the two videos off of YouTube uh, once I settle, get everything settled down. Uh, um, so, they continue to be set to private. It's very easy to, you know, I could very easily get them out and everything. But those uh, two research videos uh, are going to be gone for good. Uh, I refuse uh, I refuse to let them make money off of, um, off of videos that have my registered copyrights and I don't get to see it now uh, you know saying they, they you know don't want to negotiate don't want to talk you know talk it over if you want to you know you want to monetize then the videos the videos are gone because you're not because by their lot because look at their logic these the, these two songs were incidental not purposeful whatsoever they were incidental. You know, they just popped up on the background. 
and I'm talking over it, giving you know uh, information and and, and 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 research, and they're saying that because of these five seconds, uh, uh, you know, they can make money off of it, but because but with my registered copyrights, uh, front and center and visual and and, and visual, uh, I can't make money off. You know, you, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 if, if say, if say, let's just say, for example, PewDiePie, um, you know, was to, was to put, was to incidentally uh, have, say, uh, say, uh, um, Ashley there, you know, an image of Ashley on there, and he has it for five seconds, I could copyright, uh, I could probably cut, by their logic, I could copyright claim that. Because it, uh, because you know didn't get permission to put my image, my copyrighted image, you know, on your screen. So you know that's the logic they're going by, and and so that's the logic I'm, uh, you know, I'm trying to tell, you know, you know that that I put in my claim. It's like you know my copyrights are in this video, you know, what I'm saying and I'm not monetizing it, and you shouldn't be monetizing it too because my copyrights are in there, and your copy, you know, what I'm saying, but no, they're like we don't care. You know, saying they rejected it, they rejected my counterclaim. So, you know what? I'm gonna take it off. You know, <clears throat> you know, because I'm not gonna let anybody profit off of my registered copyrights. I'm not profiting off of their registered copyrights. There's no monetization whatsoever on this channel. I'm relying on the merch. I'm relying on merch. You know, I'm relying on merch and and and, and other variables. So, you know. It, uh, the the two videos are gonna go and, and they're research videos they're educational they're you know they're, they're, they're to help teach you guys you know say I'm trying to you know you know help uh, help contribute to the to the game designer community the gaming community you know saying you know share some share share my knowledge and such you know but no nope, that's not good enough that's not good for enough for now five seconds you know it's ridiculous it's ridiculous. You know, and this is the same issue that I'm having with Ultra Street Fighter 4. Only some rando, you know, is claiming it for for a fight for you know from uh, an FGC uh, um, video of, of an evolution of uh, evolution or, or one of the fighting fighting tournaments. And it's like, what does the fight tournament have to do with my research video? And of course, you know, the claim you know just disappears. Uh, I, I'm ranting a lot, but I, I'm just trying to vent to all of you out there. Because I'm not monetizing a dang thing on here, you know, with uh, with these with my IPs, you know. But they can't extend the courtesy to do the same. So it's like, okay, be unprofessional. <laughs> I think I I, I I believe in I believe in negotiations before. Uh, I believe in uh, 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 in doing business negotiations first before doing copyright uh, cla uh, claiming and and and. And, and and th that kind of stuff, uh, you know. But you know the, these you know these companies they got the, you know they they're, they're sticklers they're they're sticklers hands down. But me personally, I'd rather I rather negotiate first before doing counter you know copyright claiming and 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 cease and desist and finger wagging. Oh, you know I'm a businessman. You know saying, you know I'm in the business to make money, to make profit. You know, I rather I rather negotiate first to to see if we can do a profit. If we can't negotiate, okay, then fine. You know, what I'm saying then we take everything now. But at least we, we you know we we, we we you know we were professional and, and did business first. But no, you know, you know they you know people don't want to do it. Okay, so uh, it's time uh, since this is my uh, uh, this probably this is the last time I'm gonna have my last night that I have my setup as is. Everything is gonna go down except for the, the switch. So I want to do my setup tour and show you all uh, precisely uh, what my setup looks like. It's kind of uh, I've, I've noticed that this is the kind of thing you know some uh, uh, places uh, some of the play, um, YouTubers out there. So <clears throat> it's not uh, it's not much I could I could tell you that much, but <laughs> uh, but as you can see you know the behind me uh, behind my back is privacy so you know my whole body covers up the privacy but back here it used to have my um, uh, NES and Super NES games of course I got my switch and other video games but you know that's that's all that's left is just a switch and of course uh, the family flag uh, 
the family flag and a copy of my novel, my poster for the Impossible Man, my my prints for Splatter Bomb. Uh, <laughs> that was like that was like real tough because you could see the glare. You could really see the glare. And I used to um, put up um, a board. Uh, I used to stick a board right where the light is at just to try and stop the glare. But I kind of gave up on that. And of course my rod, which I you know got many 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 years ago when the when the system first launched. Um, Back in, uh, back in the days. Uh, okay, so here we go. <laughs> uh, let me spin this around. Here we go. So, as you can see, I got my uh, switch there. And there's the Magic NS. And here is the <coughs> Wii U controller. Of course, uh, here's my. Uh, here's my halo, which I, I hide behind because uh, I feel like it's a little too bright. And here's the this is the uh, toner arm, and of course the uh, the old snowball. And then there's the uh, TV that I play from, which I look up. Here is OBS, and there's my OBS setup. Look at that! Look how trippy that is. And now here are the consoles. There is the Atari. My fight stick underneath it is the Turbo Graphics 16. Uh, 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 let me uh, lift myself up here. Here we go. Let me lift it up so you can see. Uh, here we go. Turbo Graphics. Yep. That's why I played uh, Bonk's Adventure on. <laughs> I'm hoping that I'll get to do uh, Atari 2600. You'll have to forgive the lighting if it's uh, a little too dark. Um, Fact, you know what? I got the Halo. There we go. Ah, <laughs> uh, good old Halo. And then there's my uh, PS3 and my PS2, which needs uh, some maintenance. So that's one side, as you can see. Okay. And then let me swing on over. Now uh, that's uh, that, that there's my Elgato. That, um, that's my Elgato that I'm using. Uh, what else do I have here? Now uh, there's my remote. <laughs> and there's a SNK uh, 40th anniversary collection uh, that I've been doing Crystalis on. Okay. And here we go. So, let me get the halo over here. <clears throat> okay. So what you're staring at is that's right, the the NES. Behind it is the Wii U, and there's my uh, Super uh, Super NES, which I gotta also get uh, fixed up. And there's the Wii and Wii U, and of course I got a very dusty, a very sadly dusty. I haven't had a chance to dust off uh, <laughs> the N64, and then there's the the Labo uh, VR. Uh, don't expect any shows on that one. <laughs> And there's the GameCube, and as you can see, there's the uh, GameCube, uh, the Game Boy Player right underneath, and of course the Dreamcast. So overall, uh, that's what my setup uh, looks like. Oh, and uh, of course, and of course, uh, this is my uh, cable station right here. This is where. Oh, Sorry, I'm not even. <laughs> I'm walking far, far away from all of you. <laughs> uh, but um, this is the the table station, as you can see, and uh, and this is where I do uh, the research and the play testing. Right on top of this, I just put a little um, white cloak on it uh, to to help it out. But um, that's pretty much the whole setup. Uh, so this is all going to not be like this anymore. Because I got I got myself a new desk, and that beautiful desk is gonna help out with the with the toner arm. Because uh, as you notice, I have the arm over there because this table has a little uh, little dip lip here. Uh, let me just yeah, you see, yeah, if you can see it here, you know, it's a little so it makes it very hard uh, um, for the for the toner to uh, for the toner uh, the toner arm to hook up to but with the uh with the new uh, uh, uh but with the new mm, mm, desk 
the the microphone will be much much closer to me than, than ever before it will be much stronger than, uh, uh, how did uh, I forgot how Obi-Wan said it <laughs> and then of course uh, just uh, just to just to note um, it's right over here that where my fingers at that I put my uh, camera at <laughs> this, this camera th this camera here that, that I'm using and I just just you know hang it off to the side that's why you always see it fall off and that's how you get that nice little angle of me uh, looking right up <laughs> and I'm hoping I can be able to keep that angle <clears throat> that angle going uh, when, uh, when I get to the new location so yeah, that's pretty much my my setup. Uh, you know, share you know share comments on what you think. It was it's very simple. I, uh, uh, been a, it was a pretty fun ride uh, <laughs> for uh, for uh, I, I don't know if I'm if I'm close to it now. Uh, well, you know, I'll do I'll do uh, I'll have a first anniversary video. Um, well, first uh, first anniversary of full time YouTube video because I was not full time. Uh, I started this uh, channel up back in 2011. It was called Studio Coquin, and I did some videos uh, on it. They were very old, not very good, very dark. So I had to remove them. The only videos that are left were, are the two, um, are the two uh, audio, um, the two audio uh, stories that I did. They're still on the channel. You just have to um, go to the playlist uh, to get them out. But, um, but yeah, I'm going to. Uh, but yeah, uh, so. You know, this is this is my. I'm still in the middle of my first uh, f uh, full year, my first first 12 months of full time YouTubing. So once I get to that uh, milestone, that one year milestone, do uh, uh, do do a one year anniversary talk. So that's basically my setup tour. Uh, as you notice, uh, it, it, you probably might not have noticed, but yeah, it's uh, it, it's very old uh, with the the bookshelves that they're sitting on. So I'm gonna be getting some nice new fresh shelves. Uh, fresh new shelving for the systems to sit on uh, side by side <clears throat> so I hope uh, I hope you all uh, um, enjoyed seeing that uh, at the end uh, here at the end uh, so that's the so that's the whole the, the whole situation overall uh, the whole situation overall um, so the background is going to look a lot more different uh, come next week. Uh, you'll be saying goodbye to all um, to all that you see there, save for um, the prints that's going to stay up on the wall. So it's going to be it's going to be freaky. And oh, and just so you know, um, because I'm going to be because uh, uh, there might be some echo because I've been noticing my room is starting to echo. So you might be hearing some echo um, in the coming weeks. So at least now you know why you hear the echoing. Because uh, um, most of most of the stuff will probably be gone um, uh, uh, over time. All this uh, big stuff. <clears throat> so, oh, one last month, uh, month uh, here at this location, and then, uh, and then uh, that's it. I mean, I had thought about you know stopping in May, but I'm not gonna. I can't stop at May. Uh, I don't wanna. I don't wanna really stop whatsoever so I'm just gonna keep on trucking until something happens until something happens so this uh, this is uh, news and notes for April and May uh, I'll probably do a quick note for May just any 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 type of change in the uh, to, to the situation when May rolls around but this is for April and May uh, news and notes I thank you all uh, for uh, joining me and oh, let me uh, this here and with that uh, with that said uh, I wish you all a good night a buenas noches and oye se mi side